Randy Donnelly from Donnelly Auctions. I'm here with Matt Stratton today from, is it MTS? Yes, MTS Arms and Effects. Arms and Effects. Uh, he's been an armorer for the last uh, 35 years in the movie industry. And uh, Neil Leaders is here from Donnelly Auctions today. He's our weapons expert. And he's going to show you, uh, uh, what, what would we call these? Uh, Sim, they're called Simfire machine guns. Simfire. Right. Like As in simulation right. firing. Right. And they uh, operate with... Uh, uh, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen and, and propane. Mix. Yes, sir. Yeah. Propane is what burns the oxygen is what oxidizes it. Makes it but burn. we're uh, we're right not now. selling any tanks uh, with these no. guns. We're selling no. all the guns individually. So red is the gas, and then okay, black is the oxygen. You tell one goes to one because the threads won't. Okay, and then that one goes there. Right. Um, what's the switch for? Switch is your on off, so that's your safety. But yeah, any 12 volt battery, like car battery or whatever, just hook up some jumper cables onto that and then try it. Okay. And you'll like, when you pull the trigger, you'll hear that things like ch -ch 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 clicking. Right. And then uh, put your eye on your lines on, and then you can adjust the fire this. So. There's no, uh, it's, there's no flash or anything like that here, right? No. No. And the thing that no, cycle one will, all goes up. This one off will the spark flash plug. around the spark plug, just so you know. Don't let that throw you. Okay. Um, the actual combustion chamber is up in here. Okay. Where the spark plug enters into. Okay. But the electrical just kind of gives a little bit of a flash. That's fine. I just right. want to make sure if I'm holding it like this. Right. I right. Get flashed. The barrels just thread into the 50s? Yes. So the pre-boot threads, I just set the receiver point straight up. You just lay the barrel in there and it will catch itself. Okay. It's a massive um, coarse thread, so you can't cross thread and thread thread like that. And either barrel works for either gun. But they weigh like they weigh as much as the real ones. Oh, oh yeah. I think they are real barrels, but that I don't know. It looks like it. I was sitting a rifle at them, but and again, I don't know. Oh, let's get it. I don't think these are real barrels because I don't think the head spacing um, part of the barrel works. way those are hooked up they only fit on one way well, they fit on, they're like torch heads so one is one for left thread. and one is third left right so you can't put the wrong hose on the wrong end because one will have a left hand thread one will have a right hand thread So essentially, the whole operation is the same as a cutting torch. Right. Outside of you have a loud cutting torch that makes a lot of noise. <laughs> That's pretty much all these things are. But rain actors love them because it takes no blanks. You know, you don't have to worry about head spacing and jams and the blanks running out. As long as you've got a full okay. tank of gas, you can do it all damn day. Okay. And yeah, you can't hold that on your, by your hip, like I said. Yeah. The 50 cal. Okay, cal now hold on. Is it ready to, to fire now? Just uh, to turn on the gas. gas. Here we go. That's one. Yep, there you go. This is weird. Now, if it was a little darker, you'd see a pretty good muzzle flash out of those things. Adjust the fire by your um, regulators. You want to get the right mixture of oxygen and propane together. My deuce, 50 BMG. Still no recoil. <laughs> you can fire it out without earplugs. Yeah, it's not that bad. I thought it'd be worse. 
Yeah, I couldn't remember the last time I shot it. And the sound corresponds with it better, you know, differently than the thirty cal. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, the slow rate of fire of the fifty is the uh, yeah. 1919's fast. 